Are you trying to manifest something but still wondering why it hasn't become your reality yet? Do you feel like you're doing everything right yet the results seem just out of reach? If this resonates with you, then this video is perfectly tailored for you. Today, I'm excited to share with you the powerful technique of using the Law of Assumption. This isn't just theory. I've personally utilized this method to manifest a significant amount of money into my life. And now, I'm eager to share with you on how it works. If this is the first time you watch my video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, by the way. Here, we weave together personal and spiritual growth with a motivational spark, often illuminating our discussions with a touch of science. It's all about unlocking your life's full abundance and stepping into your power. In the realm of manifestation and personal transformation, Neville Goddard's teachings on the Law of Assumption offer a powerful and transformative approach. This law suggests that by assuming your wish fulfilled, you can manifest your desires into reality. At the heart of this practice is a technique known as SATS, that is state akin to sleep, which is crucial for effective manifestation. In the studies of neuroscience, humans experience several states of consciousness, each characterized by different levels of brain activity and awareness. Here is the electroencephalography of brainwave pattern. During high-level information processing, insight, and peak concentration, our brain is in gamma state, above 40 hertz. It is linked to heightened perception and problem-solving skills. When you are awake and alert, your brain is in beta state, between 13 to 40 hertz. It is associated with logical thinking, reasoning, and active interaction with your environment. When you are relaxed during light meditation, daydreaming, or just before sleep, you are in alpha state, between eight to 12 hertz. It's a state of calm and relaxation where the mind is open and receptive. Theta state, between four to seven hertz, is deeper, akin to a state of deep meditation or the moments of drowsiness right before sleep. In this state, the subconscious is even more accessible, making it a prime time for planting the seeds of your desires. Lastly is the delta state, between 0, 0.5 to 3 hertz, which is the state of deep, dreamless sleep or very deep meditation, crucial for restorative sleep and healing. Sats is a technique involves reaching a state of consciousness that borders between alpha state and theta state. In this state, the mind becomes highly receptive to suggestions and visualizations because the barrier between the conscious and subconscious mind ends, making it easier to impress your desires onto your subconscious. It's akin to the moments just before you drift off to sleep or right before you fully wake up. Neville Goddard's teachings on the Law of Assumption are brilliantly exemplified in the latter experiment, a testament to the influence of subconscious visualization. In this experiment, Goddard asked his students to engage in a nightly practice before sleeping. The task was simple yet profound. That is to visualize climbing a ladder with as much detail and realism as possible. They were to feel the ladder's rungs, sense their feet ascending step by step, and even focus on the latter's visual aspects. However, during their waking hours, the students were to affirm themselves with the opposite, repeating, I am not climbing a ladder. I am not climbing a ladder. This conscious waking affirmation was directly opposed to the nightly visualization they were practicing. And guess what? Despite their conscious minds being focused on not climbing a ladder during the day, Within few days, they found themselves in spontaneous situations where climbing a ladder became inevitable. Be it for an unforeseen work task or an unavoidable home chore, this striking outcome illuminates the profound impact of the subconscious mind in shaping reality. The vivid visualizations, performed in the receptive states between wakefulness and sleep, deeply imprinted the idea of climbing a ladder onto the student's subconscious 
This powerful subconscious belief overruled their conscious daytime affirmations, leading to real-world events that mirrored their visualized scenarios. The latter experiment underscores a key principle. Our subconscious mind, when effectively impressed with our desires, particularly in the receptive alpha or theta states, exerts a greater influence on our reality than our conscious waking thoughts. This phenomenon highlights the effectiveness of consistent visualization and the assumption of our wishes as already fulfilled. By aligning our inner visualizations with our desired experiences, we set the stage for our innermost desires to manifest in our external world. So, practically how to use the law of assumption with SOTS? 1. Define your desire. First, you need to start by pinpointing exactly what you want. Be specific and clear in your description. This clarity forms the bedrock of your manifestation journey. Know that the precision of your vision is the first step in bringing it to life. 2. Visualize with details. As you drift to sleep or wake up, immerse yourself in a detailed visualization of your desire. If you're aspiring to become rich, Picture yourself checking your bank account with the desired amount. Feel the sense of security and freedom it brings. If you're manifesting a relationship, imagine a loving interaction with your partner. Feel their touch, hear their voice, and experience the emotions of being loved and cherished. The more vivid and emotionally charged your visualization, the stronger the imprint on your subconscious. 3. Let go. After visualization, release your desire to the universe with trust and confidence. Avoid obsessing over the details or questioning the possibility of its manifestation. Believe firmly that your desired reality is not just a possibility, but an inevitability. 4. Act as if, which is the most crucial part, that is to live each day as if your desire is already a reality. This doesn't mean you pretend or play a role. It's about embracing and internalizing the state where your wish is fulfilled. It's common to feel inauthentic initially, especially when your current circumstances contrast sharply with your aspirations. You might question, how can I act wealthy when my bank account says otherwise? Or how do I feel loved when I'm single? Firstly, it is important to recognize everything is energy. Since energy cannot be created or destroyed, implies that the thoughts and visions you have for your future already exist. They are not newly created, but are forms of energy that have always been present in the universe. We are living in multiple dimension with infinite possibilities. Your desires and intuitions are communications from your higher self. With the collective consciousness, this higher self understands the interconnectedness of all things and guides you towards your desires, which are already realities in the grand tapestry of existence. If the reality of your desires do not exist, you won't be able to download that desires. So you're not creating new desires. You're only tapping into an existing frequency. This understanding removes the notion of faking its and anchors your visualization in a more authentic and powerful place. By genuinely acting as if your desires are manifested, you tune your frequency to match that of your aspirations. So when you long for love or abundance, remember these are not mere hopes, but tangible realities in the energetic realm, awaiting your alignment. The challenge many face while trying to act as if their dreams have manifested is the apparent contradiction with their current reality. Here's a helpful tip to navigate this. For instance, if your goal is to manifest wealth, envision yourself possessing the wealth you desire. You don't need to spend extravagantly to affirm this belief. Instead, whenever you're out shopping or browsing products, gently remind yourself, I can afford this. I can afford this. This simple affirmation isn't about making immediate purchases. Rather, it's about reinforcing the belief in your subconscious that you are financially capable. 
By consistently affirming your financial abundance even in small ways, you help bridge the gap between your current reality and the one you desire, making the visualized reality feel more tangible and achievable. If you're yearning to manifest love, start by pinpointing the emotions you wish to experience. Remember moments when you felt loved, excited, sexy, beautiful, and aligned. Engage in activities that, that reignite these feelings, such as spending quality time with friends and family who love you, or giving yourself a treat that makes you feel good, such as nice dinner, spa, or vacation. The deeper you get into feeling your desired emotion, the closer your ideal partner comes to you. 5. Stay persistent. Change requires time and faith. Consistency in your visualization and assumption practices is key. Reinforce your belief daily and don't let temporary setbacks deter you. Your persistence is the key in aligning your reality with your desires. Mastering the law of assumption is about more than just wishful thinking. It's about creating a deep emotional connection with your desires and impressing them upon your subconscious mind. By practicing sats and embodying the feeling of your wishes fulfilled, you align your subconscious beliefs with your conscious ambitions, setting the stage for manifestation. Remember, the key is in the assumption. Assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. I hope this journey brings your manifestations into reality swiftly, aligning your life with the dreams you cherish the most. May your aspirations find their way to you with ease and grace. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonated with you, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell for the notification. Because every week, I release a video like this and also a few shorts for motivation and inspiration. And don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.